Anyway, so if you don't already know me, uh, my name is Maya Keller, and I've been a resident of Lyon County going on 16 years now. Um, I'm told I've got about a minute here, so uh, basically I have, uh, between my husband and I, we have five children, six grandchildren. Uh, we've got grandchildren ranging from one who just turned a year old all the way up to 19. And then we have children from 19 to 27. So yes, we're a strange family, but we love it. Uh, my husband and I just uh, celebrated our 13th anniversary. We actually met here in Lyon County and was married here in Fernley. Uh, I'm the president of the Silver Springs Area Chamber of Commerce. I've uh, been very active in my community uh, over the years. Um, I'm a real estate broker, so I've helped, helped most of the families get their first time in the house. Um, my minute up? Okay, I'll shut up and take questions. <laughs> by General Thrasher as uh, the uh, CFA for the State of California for the Army National Guard. So that's a coordinator of family affairs. Um, so I'm used to working with families. I'm used to working with my community, my state. Uh, since I've been here in Nevada and in Lyon County, uh, I go to every commissioner's meeting that I've been to, which is probably 8% of all. Uh, I go to planning commission meetings. Uh, my husband is the uh, chair of the town board of Silver Springs. So I'm very active in, in making sure that our community's voice is heard. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, what management and leadership skills do you bring to the office? What 
is your opinion of the location and the cost of the new Lyon County Jail? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay, again, back to we should not be spending a dime more than the county needs to spend at this time. Ultimately, my opinion is that jail should be centrally located for the population. This is my belief. At this time, the county can afford to be relocating the jail. Again, you've got cost. Um, I understand that uh, the they have to do updates, upgrades. Uh, there's problems with the county jail the way it is right now. I do believe that you need to fix some problems. But as far as actually building a justice complex, safety complex, whatever you want to call it today, um, the county shouldn't be spending the money. I believe that they're, they're spending our taxpayer dollars to have, I guess the expression I hear on the streets is called the Taj Jail. As far as, like I said, as far as fixing the jail, I'm, I'm all for that. Um, you know, Sheriff Allen Bale, you know, he, he needs a proper place to work. I agree with that, but not at this time. And then when they do get to a point that they have to go ahead and expand and do a justice center, they need to make it centrally located for the population. Last question. The elections for Lyon County Commissioner are countywide, but to maintain equal representation, candidates are, are selected from different geographic districts within Lyon County. How are you prepared to address the needs of the other portions of the county? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I'm a resident of Lyon County, not just my district. Um, and as you just said, you know, the districts are just everything proportionate so you have somebody from each area of the county representing. Um, in my case, uh, the district that I'm running for, you know, is, is a portion of Fernley, Silver Spring, Stagecoach. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, my representation is from everybody. Uh, my very first business in this county was here at Fernley. And I've worked in Smith Valley, I've worked in Arrington, I've worked in Dayton, and of course I've worked in the Silver Spring stage coach area. So my representation goes all over this county. It always has with real estate. My husband and I are both licensed contractors. We've helped a lot of people fix their homes in this county, and that's from one end to the other, from the east to the west. Okay. Uh, you have one minute for closing statement if you'd like to make it. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> Um, well, I, gosh, back, back to, I guess, a little bit uh, about me and my family. Um, to give you an idea of my, our children that I was talking about, our five children. Um, our oldest boy um, proudly served in uh, the Marines. He was in Iraq. Um, he's one of the ones that came home safely. And uh, he just recently rejoined the military. Uh, then we've got uh, four other children all going to college. And uh, one's going to be a doctor, and who knows what the other three might end up doing. <laughs> but at least they're all in school. And uh, like I said, we have six great uh, grandchildren, and we're very family-oriented. And uh, we've got uh, family here in Fernley. Uh, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, our teachers right here in your schools. And so hopefully I, I've got a great connection with all of you. Have done. Thank you.